Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Why would he come back now? Tom, I have no idea. Taking the number one spot this week is another Jason Bourne movie, bringing in an estimated $60 million. Matt Damon has officially reprised his role as the brainwashed badass four different times, but this one's different, right? There is a guy who is this former special ops guy who has a spotty memory and is trying to figure out what happened in his past, and as part of that, he's gotta take down a big black ops organization run by the CIA like he's done three times before. <laughs> okay, so it's not different, but that didn't stop it from doing relatively well at the box office. Born Ultimatum, the third film in the group, had the best debut with a $69 million weekend in 2012, but this latest Born isn't far behind, which means there's no telling how many more times Matt Damon will be back and know everything. Speaking of knowing everything, did anybody tell Mr. Renner that Mr. Damon was back? Somebody should really let him know. Anyway, falling from number one to number two this week is Star Trek Beyond, bringing in an estimated $24 million and pushing its worldwide total past $160 million. And while that's still not enough to break even for the Legacy franchise, it was good enough to beat out this weekend's other major release. Let's be bad moms. Oh, I'm in. To bad moms! Yeah. Taking the number three spot this week is Bad Moms, bringing in an estimated $23 million. A solid opening for an R-rated flick with a $20 million budget. Jupiter! It's also the first major release starring Mila Kunis since this very expensive disaster last year. Hopefully Kunis will steer clear of the sci-fi genre for a little while. As for next week, if this movie is awful, I'm gonna hurt everyone. Really, really bad. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.